Hey yo, this is Dash. Get ready. <laughs> All right. So you guys asked for it. Well, it was one or two of you that asked for it. We talked about sides or we were talking about sides. I don't remember if it was on a live stream or if it was in a video, but I talked about how every now and again, I've done some beans. So when I do my brisket beans, I always start with vegetarian beans. Kind of defeats the purpose for someone like me who does not eat pork to start with pork and beans and then put, uh, well, yeah, to start with pork and beans if I don't eat, eat pork. So anyway, I always start with a can of vegetarian beans and unfortunately I couldn't find the, what is it? The, hold on. Bushes, that's the brand I was looking for. I couldn't find the Bushes baked beans, so I had to get the Restaurant Depot store brand beans, but it'll be okay. So I'm gonna loosely do this, and I, whenever I do beans, and I haven't done it that often, but whenever I do beans, I use, of course, vegetarian beans. I'm gonna use some green peppers, and I have some onion. I'm just using some Vidalia onions, all right? At this point, time for me to get to slicing, and uh, you guys sit back and hopefully I can get this done because this is only like the second maybe time I've ever done this. So I'll get to get to doing. Oh, also don't forget, you're gonna wanna need it. You're, you're gonna probably need to have some brown sugar on hand. Hopefully you don't need it if it tastes okay, but if you do, you, you'll have it. So be prepared. So uh, here's my brisket. More often than not, I really don't show you guys when the brisket is done, just because typically once the brisket is done, I like to let it rest. Once it rests, then I slice it up. Once I slice it up, I get it out the door, do my delivery, come back home, and I can myself rest. So at this point, I'm letting the brisket rest. I'm going to start the beans, and the last thing to go into the beans is gonna be some trimmings from the brisket, all right? I'll get to cutting the onions and the peppers now. All right, so let's get this done, and uh, let's see if I can have some fun with this one. All right, so the hard part is done, cutting up the onions and the peppers. I'm not crying. Yeah. All right, so at this point, what I'm gonna do is I would like to use just one pan, one pot here, but I don't know whether or not that's gonna work out. I'm thinking I might have to actually pull a skillet out and I'll get my peppers and my onions softened, and, but I'm gonna, I might try. There's a lot of peppers and onions. So if I spread them out in the skillet, it'll hopefully allow these to cook a little faster and then I'll get them out of the skillet into the pan and I'll get the beans into the can too, all right? Uh, I'm gonna dig in the pot drawer and get out a bigger skillet.
So at this point, you saw me get the onion sauteed, the pepper sauteed them into the big pot. You saw me get the beans into the big pot. That was a heaping half cup of brown sugar and a little bit of salt to taste. You'd be surprised, you do actually need to get a little bit of salt in there. It just, salt is a flavor enhancer. So at this point, let's get this on like a medium high heat. And I'm just gonna let this simmer and cover it lightly. And we'll just let it go for a while. I'm gonna make sure I keep stirring it though to make sure I don't have any burnt beans on the bottom. I want this to thicken up. That'll probably take half an hour, 45 minutes and we'll be right on schedule. I need to link up with the lady who I'm taking these beans to at uh, in about an hour. All right, so I am uh, just about all packed up and getting ready to head out the door. 
So with those beans, you saw there was a lot of liquid in those beans. What I ended up doing was taking some, uh, you know, ceram wrap, some cling foil or cling wrap, and wrapped it around the top of the pan, put it down into a second full catering pan, then cover the whole pan in aluminum foil in an effort to make sure that it doesn't leak or spill. So a few things before I head out the door while they're fresh on my mind. You guys saw that the beans were a little, they were a little watery uh, in the end, a little soupier than I would like them to be. Now, what I would do uh, next time is probably pour off some of those juices or pour off some of that sauce before I started or before I added the beans to the peppers and the onions. But had I let it simmer a little bit longer, it was thickening, thickening up. Uh, I just didn't have enough time to let it simmer. I probably could have simmered for another hour or so. So just a little pro tip for you, if you're gonna do, especially if you're gonna do a full number 10 can like I did, you're probably gonna either wanna let it simmer longer or reduce the amount of those liquids that you're gonna put in. Other than that, uh, thank you so very much as always for watching. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. Make sure to turn that notification bell on so you can be notified whenever one of these videos goes live. Keep in mind, we go live on Wednesday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern. Come join in the fun, shoot the breeze, and hang out. Last but not least, thank you guys again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Oh, bottom, baby. <laughs>